I lost four pounds this week. Yes, you did. Stephanie Foster is a breast cancer survivor. Two years ago, her doctor found lumps in her breast. Through um, a mammogram, an ultrasound, then a biopsy, then I got the phone call saying that I had breast cancer. Foster knows how important Pinktober donations are for people who develop breast cancer. She calls the bright pink group a godsend. I needed people like me to help me. But some are taking advantage of those in need of help. And while shopping where the pink ribbon is displayed gives folks a warm and fuzzy feeling, there is a catch. The consumer may think that what they're purchasing is going to go toward this research or go toward this organization, and it may not. Pink ribbons are everywhere on products and services, on license plates and buildings. But the Better Business Bureau is cautioning people to know that the use of pink ribbons are not regulated. The Susan G. Komen Foundation benefits greatly from their Pinktober partnerships. They warn consumers about the process of giving. The buyer needs to beware because they should know where that money's going. So on that tag, does it say what the name of the company is? Does it say how much is going to that company? Is it 10%? Is it a dollar? Is there a cap to the donation? So no matter how many products they sell, they're only donating $500,000. Part of the recovery process from breast cancer is not only the mental part, but the physical part. That's why Stephanie is working out today. Coming here, working out, you know, the physical part of it and the mental part, relieving stress and it's just been amazing. To make sure your donation goes to help people such as Steph Foster, do your homework, find out how much is going to your charity, and confirm partnerships claim. In Highlands Ranch, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.